Enemy ultimate down. We are able to make a rotation on this Erlong. Miss a lot of basics. But we are able to clean it up. Thank you. Artemis is right. I should just alter. I ho hope I do alter. Yes. The full on bully. Even though she trapped me and got a few basic attacks off, I think we just win this. Right there, I got caught on the wall in an unfortunate way. She's rotating back. That's her ult. I'm able to beat. It's a little late. But we're still able to just face trade her. They can't handle the five head play. Enemies incoming. Enemy so that makes us 7 out of 5. Able to get the kill on the Humbats. And our team fight right there was just pretty nasty. What a do, Scooby Doo, -boo. it's your boy Shiny B Gaming, and today we are going to be playing Chernabog in the carry lane, and we're going to be seeing what went right and what went wrong. If you are new to the channel, I upload six to seven smite videos a week, and the whole intention is to reduce the smite learning curve. So if that is something you're interested in, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more content. If you are a returning viewer, we had a very fun game of Chernabog today. A um, little bit of tension between me and the other ADC, but let's go ahead and dive into dive into Chernabog's kit. Chernabog's one is going to shoot forward a circle, and it's going to sit there for a while and then explode, causing a root. Um, if you throw it and it hits them, it's going to do damage, and if it explodes on them, it's going to do damage again. So it has the potential to damage the enemy twice. Your second ability is going to be a line attack that acts like a basic attack and you're going to get increased attack speed after using it and if you use your two and it goes through the one it's going to detonate the one. Then your three is a dash. If you dash and hit an enemy you're going to apply a slow. If you dash towards a wall you're actually going to go into the wall and then be able to dash back out. Chernabog's ultimate, he summons a shadow around each enemy god, and he can fly into the sky and then pick a shadow to uh, teleport to. And then once he teleports to that shadow, his cooldowns get reset, he gets damage mitigation, and um, his passive is going to start stacking. So his passive is every three basic attacks that hit an enemy, the third one is going to explode. So let's go ahead and just dive into it. Um, to start the build, we are going the Hunter's Blessing, and then we're going to be going into Devourer's Gauntlet. So Terra's getting great pressure onto the Artemis right now. It's kind of our fault for not being there to follow up. We're just going to focus on the minions for now. So if you are playing an ADC role, um, I'm sure you are aware that Devourer Gauntlets is in a great place right now. It provides a ridiculous amount of lifesteal for when you're basic attacking, and it should be built on almost every hunter. It's just a very strong item right now. So we able to get our 2-1 combo off on Artemis right there. And Terra's able to get Careful some CC right. for me, but then Jeb body blocked the basic attacks. So we are just going to keep basic attacking away onto this minion wave. Use the line attack, that's her beads. One more basic. Unfortunately, we missed. We ended up taking a power shock, and now we're getting ganked. So whoa, that turned out pretty bad. That's okay. The pressure has stopped. The jungler rotated away. We should be able to keep up the high pressure here. We do not have any more health pots. Right there, we tried to get a little cheeky and get closer than we typically would be able to by dashing through the wall and then dashing out. 
So right here, just keep it in the high pressure. No need to do anything crazy. We have the advantage. Looks like Artemis peeled off to go for purple. Trying to tell Terra to pull back and go for our jungle buff. Yeah, she overcommits here. They're gonna be able to get her. <laughs> so if I was there, I might have been able to help Terra get out, but since I was going for purple, well, we are able to catch Artemis pretty easily there. That just sucks. So even though they got first blood, um, I think our team is in a favored position in this lane. We have our ADC, which is me, in the lead. It's okay if their support gets to level 5, but Artemis sitting on level 4 while I'm advancing towards level 6 is going to feel very nice for the rest of the game. So now we're going to make our way back to our purple, and we'll be able to link up with the Terra. We are getting close to having enough money for Devourer's Gauntlets. Your left tower is under attack. So this purple buff is going to reduce the enemy's protections while also giving us bonus attack speed. If we have the opportunity to invade their purple, we want Terra to get the purple because the protection removal stacks. Uh, yep, we are able to get the kill there. And we're going to go ahead and back because we have enough for Devourer's Gauntlets. And we should be able to get back to lane before Artemis. So we are going to ult. Go towards this Hun Bats. We're kind of using it just to get to lane a little faster. So we ulted in, applied a little bit of pressure to Hun Bats, and then An disengaged. Poseidon was able to clean up Hun Bats, so I got an assist for that. Out of mana. That's too bad. Yes. Out of mana. That's too so I would have hit my two into my one there, but Jeb knocked me up. We're just gonna keep hitting these basic attacks. You are trolling. It's all hair to pull back. It's time to go for one of these harpies. And usually these harpies are not worth it, kind of in the mid to late game. But in the early game, they can help you establish a lead. In the early game, there's a lot of standing around. So if you are standing around and you got the time, the health, and the mana, I would go ahead and hit some of these sides. Terra is doing a great job applying high pressure and setting me up for kills. Just wish you would kind of rotate with me through the camps a little bit more effectively. But other than that, I think we are in a great position for this game. We got two levels on Artemis. We have beads for her ult. I think we are Gucci. So I see Jeb is rotating. Oh, here's the play. So apparently that Artemis's controller died. Because they're going to message me here in a second. Saying that they reported me to Xbox for bad sportsmanship. Because in the Xbox terms and conditions, it states that you can report somebody if they kill you while their controller dies for bad sportsmanship. I know. I think that's pretty ridiculous too. And then my follow up was what's Xbox terms and conditions for messaging somebody after a game, calling them bad and saying that they only won because your controller died. But anyway, back to the game. You might see me check my Xbox messages just in a second. So our team is getting chopped up a little bit 
we are able to get this tier 1 power. So here comes the message. We don't have enough for boots. Your middle tower is under attack. Like, so we're gonna check the message here. Reported. So now Artemis has just painted a target on her back all game. My only objective for the rest of this game is to bully this Artemis in lane and try to keep her as low level as possible. <laughs> So if you see me ult Artemis from across the map, know that it is because of this. We are going to just go ahead and continue, we're going to hit the purple buff. We have 37 stacks on our devourers, once we get that fully stacked we should have the power um, to really do some damage with our basic attack and then we'll feel more comfortable rotating mid. So we do have our ultimate, I think we're going to back and then try to ult in. We're going to get the ninja tab eye for the attack speed. Nope, let's go straight for the Artemis. <laughs> so she sets up a trap, which is smart by her. I think we just win the face trade though. Where'd you go, Artemis? Enemy missing right. Just hanging out in jungle, see if anybody rotates my way. Be able to get some poke onto Jeb. Terra's gonna follow up, Humbat's pushing me. I'm going to dash through the walls, get on the correct side. Able to get the basic attack off there, and that's gonna make us 3 0 and 2. So somehow our 2 missed our 1 there, or else we would have had Artemis rooted. Able to set up our team right there. Dodgy is a little far up. I don't know if we're going to be able to do anything to help her. She's going to go down. We're going to go back into jungle, see if there's any camps we can strip on our way back. Hunt bats here, but we are able to get the red. And we're able to dash out. We're going to make our way to the purple buff. Still working on getting our stacks online, but right now we have lifesteal and attack speed boots. It's going to allow us to face trade with some basic attacks. That's too bad. We have three levels on the Artemis. Enemy missing right. The light Clear up that wave make our way to their purple see if it's here it is so let's just keep stripping this farm here comes artemis we try to dash through the wall to avoid the artemis alt but that was her best chance of killing me now that her Enemy ultimate is down we should right. be able to apply a lot of pressure here comes the terra sets me up able to get that artemis be careful middle Jeb's making a rotation over, but we're not that concerned, so we're just gonna fall back. What are you even doing? Enemy ultimate Enemy down. Ultimate down. <laughs> We've got a decent amount of money and we're kinda low on mana, so it's gonna be time to back. We're gonna be going into the executioner. And what the that executioner does is it gives you attack speed, gives you a little bit of power, but you really want it for its passive. So the way the passive works is, hold on, we're going to ult onto the Humbats, we're able to get a kill, we're going to make a rotation mid, see if there's anything we can do onto the Terra. We get hit by the Polymorph, so there's probably not too much we're going to be able to do. We're going to dash out and disengage. So what execution does, it gives you attack power, attack speed, and it's going to remove 
a stack of you protections, up to 12% protections per stack, um, of physical protections for your team. So what that means is if Jeb has 100 physical protections and I have the Executioner, if I hit him with a basic attack, he is now going to have 88 protections. If I hit him with another basic attack, he's going to have 76. And if I hit him with the third, which is the maximum amount of stacks you can apply with the Executioner, he's going to be down to 64 protections. And then this protection removal is going to apply to everyone on our team. So if I hit three basic attacks on Jeb, the protection reduction is also going to apply whenever Dodgy comes in to do damage. And same with the Kiwis, as those are the only two other physical gods on our team. So all in all, Execution is a great item, especially for team fights, and especially whenever you have more physical and magical on your team. Enemy missing middle! Just keep cleaning up wave. Wave, I think Terra's gonna rotate out, which is going to allow me to try to engage with this Artemis. An enemy has been slain. Get some attacks on the Jeb. He's gonna roll out. There is an Artemis ult. We're just gonna ult in. We use that to avoid the Artemis ult. So right there we tried to dash into the wall, unfortunately we did not, we missed a basic attack or two, and we're going to have to fall back. But look at that lifesteal, we're able to just lifesteal right back off the wave. Terra's hanging out, so I think we should be able to just burn this tower. Which is going to push that Artemis back even further. Able to get the kill onto the Artemis, now we're just gonna phase trade with the Sun Bats. Cancel that. Enemy missing right. Enemy missing middle. Enemies in the left jungle. Retreat right lane. So let's go ahead and strip their jungle on the way out. Gold Fury is down, so we're not gonna be able to go for that objective. We're just gonna go ahead and back, pick up Executioner, and then we're gonna to wanna to start stacking Rage. This season, they made some changes to Rage, to where it gives you 50% critical chance whenever it's fully stacked. And that has kind of brought Crit back into the metal, meta, not metal. And now that Crit is back in the meta, a lot of Hunters are building Crit, and Rage is kind of the crucial item for a lot of Crit builds. Enemy ultimate down! We are able to make a rotation onto this Erlong, miss a lot of basics, but we are able to clean it up. Thank you. Artemis is right, I should just alter. I ho hope I do alter. Yes. The full on bully. Even though she trapped me and got a few basic attacks off, I think we just win this. Right there, I got caught on the wall in an unfortunate way. She's rotating back. That's her ult. I'm able to beat. It's a little late. But we're still able to just face trade her. So that makes us 7 out of 5. Able to get the kill on the hum bats. Hitting our team fight right there was just pretty nasty. So I think the play is definitely to go for at least Pyro. You could probably go for Fire. Yeah, so I'd say just go straight for Fire. Then we're going to start burning it as a team. Can you just AFK under the tower? Their team is hanging around, but I think we are going to be able to burn it. Fire Giant kills, we were able to get it. Hera is probably our best target right here. So we're going to want to try to get some basic attacks off onto her. We miss a lot. Oh, 
Erlong's going to dash in aggressively, and they're able slain. to get that pick. Nice is still hanging out. Yes, she might right be in trouble. She's gonna dash away from the Zombats. Unfortunate ultimate, we were able to sink the damage. We're gonna ult just to get away. Achilles is able to get the kill. We're gonna kind of hang out the back way just so nobody can rotate on us. It looks like we got most of the team wiped right there. So we're just gonna go ahead and back. Finish our rage. And then we are going to start Wind Demon after Rage. And then after Wind Demon, we would go Poison Star, and that would be the complete build minus the boots. You could sell the boots. Let's see, I don't think we're at the crit attacks, the crit percentage cap. We are very close. Probably would want to go an attack speed item, maybe like a Quinsai. To round off the build, Quinsai or an Odysseus bow. But we're gonna go ahead and hit Bold Fury. This Ani Fury is going to provide us um, some stronger minions in the wave for one wave, and hopefully that will allow us to put a little bit more pressure onto their structures. We might be able to make a difference. Does not look like it. So we're in a bad spot. We're going to want to rotate out. Erlong is a little far pushed up on left, but it looks like Achilles is rotating to get there. Hera is the person we want to target if we can help it. Able to get the kill onto the jab. That's a humbat ult. We're gonna see if we can get any kind of crits on him. Missing a lot of basic attacks, so that could definitely be improved. Poseidon's able to clean that up. It looks like a Artemis is coming up from behind. An enemy has been slain. So that is basically a team wipe. We should be able to just push mid lane right here. Potentially you can get mid Phoenix. Although Jeb is up. Jeb does not have the best clear, so we should be able to get some poke off onto the Phoenix. Here comes a full wave, so I think we actually can burn this Phoenix. Jeb's gonna eat a few of them, but we're gonna just keep chunking them away. And wow, we actually pulled off. So we are going to ult. So we ult by a little bit of time, then we land on the enemy closest to our teammate. Dodge is gonna go full in. We're gonna clean up the tower or the Phoenix. See if there's anything we can do to get Dodgy out. Oh man, I think that was a very good team fight in our favor. We're gonna bead the Tusky. So we are just hanging out in the back line, getting some basic attacks off, doing some work. We're going to want to pull back, dash into the wall, dash out, create a little bit of spacing, turn around and do some basic attacks to help our teammate out. We miss our 1-2 combo. Combat ults us. We might go down here. 
I'm gonna dash, dash out. Oh no. Yeah, Erlon's gonna be able to get us. He's bursty enough for it. An enemy has been slain. Um, we might have won right there. That's three people down. We just have to worry about the Hera and Jeb. I think they're gonna be able to close it out though. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and then leave a comment. Let me know if you liked it. If you want to see any particular God played, always just leave a comment in the description or reach out in the Discord server. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe. It really helps the channel out. Uh, thank you all for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the game, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye. Yeah. Oops. I'm cool.